for for somebody so young, and I'm using young advisedly, <laughs> your, your name has been in the political landscape for a long time. That is true. How, how did it begin for you? Well, uh, I guess um, uh, I have been a political activist from childhood. Mm. Uh, I remember as early as eight years, I was in a boarding school in Rapid, in Sunyani. And because we were young, we used to have school mothers and school fathers. And as we grew, we became the school mothers and school fathers. I became a school father taking care of other young people. So I eventually became the school prefect. Oh. And then when I went to Pokuare in Kumasi for my secondary education, I became the school prefect again. Okay. And then in university, I became very active with SRC, with NOOCs, and eventually became the NOOCs rep on Get Fund, among so many things. So it has become part of me in trying to be part of my society, trying to lead in my community. So that is how come I believe um, I have been very active uh, in politics in Ghana. It's interesting. You mentioned you were born in Sunyai. Yes. So where does the Jesu link come in? Uh, my parents uh, are cocoa farmers, so my dad is the Sanahine of Adangumasi, and my mother is from Ejuso, okay. uh, from the Eduaproche royal family in Ejuso, oh, Odaho. Okay. So, uh, but because they are cocoa farmers, we were in Sankore, in the Hafo region, uh, where, you know, we were into farming. My parents were farmers, both farmers, and then because we were in a village in Sankore and my dad thought I was bright, he took me to Sunyani to be in boarding school at a very tender age. Oh, okay. So that's how come that's the link. I needed, yes, uh, to, so yes, that's how come I, I entered school very early. And, and pol politics has brought you this far, but at the start, especially at the university level, it wasn't always kind to you. At all. What happened? <laughs> you, you, SRC beat you, nukes beat you. <laughs> Well, but that, that is the beauty of it uh, in, in life. So I have tasted defeat in politics. I have tasted success and victory in politics. And it has helped to shape in my understanding of life that you can't always win. Sometimes you lose. And when you lose, the essence is not whether you won or you lost, but you kept your presence to be part of the community and still support. At the right time, community will still reward you. But that is, I see, election that... You you lost was quite, it's one of the more popular <laughs> races in the history of SRC elections. Uh, exactly. What it, lessons did you glean from um, that loss to Ekwo? Yes, uh, it taught me so many things. Uh, uh, it, and it made me appreciate what politics is all about and what democracy is all about. That You think you are the best, but when the majority of the populace don't understand you, then you are not the best. Mm. So you have to keep explaining your opinion or your policies until you are able to convince the majority. And so you never give up. Even if you are not appreciated now, keep pushing. Because in the end, even those we started with, even though some are still into public you know, service and policies and community issues, some have you know, fell out because maybe uh, they were not really passionate about what they were into. But if, if, if you really knew what you want to achieve, it doesn't matter whether you won or you lost. Okay. But what has always been very common with my engagement is that I'm either winning or almost winning, and that's very important. <laughs> but I'm sure you still keep up with the student politics uh, exactly. face. I, what do you make of the student politics you practiced and the nature of student politics. Now, there are those who say maybe it's now more political than activist when back in the day, you guys fought a lot more yeah, but, for student uh, rights. Yes, but because the circumstances have changed, so you cannot also judge them differently. Mm -hmm. We, in most cases, I remember when we, we were entering the University of Ghana in 99, uh, we were under the President Rawlings regime. We sat home as a result of Mobrawa struggle for three weeks. We were actually beaten out of campus and made, the universities were closed down for almost three weeks. And at the end, we had to lose one whole academic year. So you finish secondary school, you have to stay home for two years. So the dynamism of the, um, the political environment at the time has changed. Now it's democracy. The governments are listening to you and, and, and they are prepared to engage on your issues. So it doesn't 
offer the kind of radical kind of uh, student leadership and activism, activism that is required under political uh, a military regime to you know so definitely I don't see much difference in terms of the drive and passion for st of, of student activism in the country it's still there except that circumstances have changed if you observe what happened recently in Katanga Hall mm. when the university tried to change one hall into a mist hall and the response from the students it should tell you that the potential to be radical is still there, but it's being managed because of the democratic environment that we have. But, but in your time, I recall, you guys were guys who were always in the courtroom. You were in court <laughs> more than in the classrooms. <laughs> being radical was not about destroying school property. It was about facing the authorities oh, in yes. courts of law. Yes. Some of you became very famous simply by suing the university on a daily basis. And most of the time, you won. Yes, uh, but that is what is called change in society. You have to go through the legal processes and legal procedure to achieve the change because uh, without change, society cannot move on. And I'm saying that I still see that option available for students. But if there are no uh, course of action, if there, there, there is no need to go and fight in court, the, the person you are fighting says, I agree. Why do you have to go to court? So the, the, there's, there's a lot of changes in the democratic environment now, which may not create that kind of course of action which will push student leaders to go to the extent that some of us went. But when I meet them, I still engage a lot with students at various levels. News, um, USAG, uh, every level of uh, student activists, uh, SRCs across the country. And uh, I can tell you, it's still very passionate and we have very solid student leaders in the system.